Hello, welcome back to another wrestling discussion. I'm All Things Wrestling, and today I'm joined by Joe again. Hello. And we are going to discuss who won the Superstar Shake-Up. Yes. All right. First of all, really bad name. Can we just point that one out? What was that? Superstar Shake-Up is a terrible name. Oh, God, yeah. What <laughs> um, was wrong I, with the draft? I think they're going for a full draft in summer. Think that was their idea? I think what I read was that they want to do... Was it a full draft a year and two shake-ups a year? Uh, I heard they want to do one after WrestleMania and one after SummerSlam. I don't know if that's the full one will be at SummerSlam, though. It's too many. It's too... I think one annual draft this time of year after WrestleMania would be perfect. Yeah, let's see why not. But, yeah. Obviously, let's just get the whole match situation out of the way before we get into the proper who won the draft. Why would you have title matches that you know the competitors are not going to win? Like, we know Bray Wyatt's not going to beat Randy Orton to get the title back, bring it to Raw. We know that. Yeah, that's obvious. Whereas Jericho and Owens, it could go either way. In reality, it could, but we most likely think it's going to go to Owens because of the Jericho touring with Fawlty. It only makes sense. Yeah. Which is... The logic in here isn't going right. Because... Well, Bray's annoyed because he doesn't get his... Re- doesn't get a proper, proper run with the belt. Which is why it would have been good to not make Orton win at WrestleMania. And leave it on Randy... Swap Brandy over to Raw instead of Bray in the first place. Uh, it, I, I think moving... Well, obviously Bray was a last minute move for... For WWE, uh, Vince McMahon, he wanted AJ over, and they decided not to. Let's move Bray, which makes zero sense, like say, in the long run. Yeah, I think they should have done what they did with the US, where they said whoever wins goes to the brand. So they should have done that with the WWE title. So if Randy, if Bray won, it would swap them two around. Who is um, Brock Lesnar got him? <laughs> he's not wrestling for months. Payback, he's not wrestling. We're lucky if he wrestles at Extreme Rules. That's, uh, I don't like that. I like it when titles are defended. That's what I mean. Why did they ever put it on him? Because he's such a lazy champion. Seriously. seriously. Uh, uh. That is my logic with Brock Lesnar. Is I don't want to defend the belt for two months. Yet they stripped Naomi, even though she made it back within a month at WrestleMania. Yeah, I think... I think they kind of screw that up because, yeah, I get that they wanted her to win at Mania because it's a home state and whatever, but would you really have a return to the SmackDown before Mania? Wouldn't you just have a return at Mania to get a bigger pop? Yeah, that would have made more logical sense. Yeah. But WWE doesn't do logic. Like, well, like, it makes sense why Dean Ambrose did keep the Intercontinental title now. Because they wanted, I think they wanted to swap the belts around, um, and I think they wanted to keep Baron on SmackDown. Who would you think would be a good um, opponent for the Intercontinental over Raw, on Raw? Uh, who's left on Raw? That's the main question. I don't know anymore. I'd like to see Samoa Joe. That's another thing. The faction that Triple H has made with Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens must be split up now. It must be. Why? That, that lasted long. <laughs> Perhaps so. It, it was nice while it lasted. Um, I, yeah, Samoa Joe would be a good talent for the Intercontinental. Um, there's not many more talents over there. Because uh, Ty Dillinger's on SmackDown. He would have been the only other person I would have said properly. Sami Zayn's now on SmackDown. Raw is screwed. They've got more of the big guys. Yeah. Um. Who's... Who would you say? That's a, that is a tough one, actually. Uh, um, I was just about to say, they need someone in the New Day, but they've gone over to SmackDown. <laughs> There's no one left on Raw. Um, Apollo uh, Crews? Miz, or... Miz. Oh, yeah, Miz is over there, but they've already uh, done that. Miz. Yeah, just leave it back. Just put it on the Miz and leave it onto the Miz for about 500 days. That then, would be fine with that. Yeah, but the thing is, Miz made that belt feel like something, and then it just 
dropped off the map again. Uh, which is it's... wait, um, what's the cruiserway? Is that still on cruiserway? Still on Raw? Yeah. Neville, Just put it on Neville. Give about every. Give Neville every belt. Oh, Just give Neville everything. Also, quick note: What do you reckon the House of Horrors match is going to be? Um, I don't know. I would like. It, they're probably going to do something like the uh, Ambrose Asylum, aren't they? That was a bit. Uh, I, I would like the thumbtack spot. Yeah. It, that was a that match only had like three decent things in it. I enjoyed it. It just wasn't one of my favourites. Um, it's tough what what that could be really good as. Me, oh, I was about to say maybe it's not in a ring. Maybe it's in the wire combat. Yeah. Um, personally, did you ever see the three cages stacked on top of each other? No. You need to watch that match from WCW. Yes. I watched the Punjabi prison. <laughs> Maybe that comes back. <laughs> just with dead... Just with, like, creepy things on top. Uh, I, I, they were asking for suggestions what people want to see. I just want to see violence. Yeah, because that, that's not going to happen. It's, gonna, it's either going to be a really good match... Or a really shit match. Or it's going to be... I think it does need to be in the white compound. Like the final deletion was for TNA, that was really good. The only thing with that is I really like watching matches like in in the ring, like with the atmosphere. Or backstage, like a proper backstage area where they just slug it out everywhere. Yeah. But start it in a really creepy area. You know what they did with the bo- boiler and brawls? Start yeah. it in a really, really creepy area. And ha- like do like a load of areas really creepily, and have them just fight in a really creepy area with weapons and I was going to say glass, but Chamberman nearly died last time they used glass. I watched that match, really good. That um, two thousand one King of the Ring match. I've not seen it. Mm, worth a watch. Chamberman ne- nearly dies, but <laughs> worth a watch. Chamberman is a hell of a wrestler. That's all I can say. Yeah, he's getting better. Yeah, but he's always been pretty good. For saying he's not a real proper competitor, he has been trained, but he's not a full-time competitor. He can wrestle with the best of them. That's true. I give him that. Maybe a bur- maybe maybe the House of Horrors can end in a buried alive. Ooh, that's yeah. not a bad shout. Hmm. Um, or cast. Yeah, just. Casket, very life, something, something like that needs to end it. The Undertaker turns up and wins the belt. <laughs> yeah, basically, I want that. That would be awesome. Would be uh, did you hear about David Otunga taking six weeks off? Yes. But T is his replacement. Really? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Spoiler for future newsroom for tomorrow for that one. But yeah, I've heard Booker T is going to be uh, doing the replacement for six weeks. And action is going to be taken against JBL. Oh, nice. Good. Cause like they can't. said, um, Dave Meltz has said that um, they they're not just going to brush it under the carpet. They some, already can't now, but, can they? It, but he doesn't know what's going to be done. But something is going to be addressed. About about say so, because uh, newspapers have picked this story up. Yeah, I know. You're pretty screwed trying to cover this up. But there's a lot of backstage politics going on. As always. Whereas I think John Cena, I think the John Mrs. John Cena stick should be around for a while. That is as good as Damian Mizdow. Yeah. It really is. I find them acting oh. as Cena, Cena and Nikki amazing. I like the promos. Yeah, they are really good. Just proves how good Miz is. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the problem is. All I can think of, though, is with Brock Lesnar's champion, we've only got one world title now. Because we know there's no way that Brock Lesnar's going to lose it in, in a while. I no. kind of hope he drops it to Braun. Yeah, and then then he gets it back a few, couple of months later, just to give the belt something to do for a while. I'd love, I know it's a bit 
cheesiest, but I'd love Braun to win it and have his own custom belt. Yeah. Just With a pic- picture of yeah. an ambulance tipped over. <laughs> Just something really heavy to, like, you know, really, like... I don't know, just something a bit different for him. You know, I did with the rated R belt. And yeah, you know. I think I think that would be good. Braun is the next big guy. I hope so. He is. But that's that's the main main thing that Braun is a massive star you can build on. Yeah. We haven't seen the talent like this since the Big Show. No. No, I can't really think of any other big, massive people that are as, as good as Braun at the minute. I mean, you've got Rhino, but he's a bit, you know... Weird now. Yeah. Kane's now becoming a mayor, possibly. That would be awesome. <laughs> let Kane is your mayor. I'd vote for him. He seems to know what he's talking about. Oh, well, yeah, he's very clued up. Oh, yeah, he's a, he's a very, very intelligent man outside of WWE. Oh, we're breaking kayfabe. Shit. <laughs> but yeah, I do wish... Glenn J- I don't think we're going to see Kane that much more. No, but I hope he gets a decent send-off. Not like the Dudley Boys or... Mm. Yeah. He'll go in the Hall of Fame. There's no doubt about that one. Of course, yeah. I think they should go in together. Either together or... In I, the- I think we should make The Undertaker and Kane the, the next two-time Hall of Famers. Because we've only got Ric Flair... Because he went in as a horseman and himself. I think we should put Undertaker and Kane in, then do them together as the brothers of instruction, so they're both two time Hall of Famers. That would be great. Yeah, they, they both deserve it. Do you know what? I Do you know how like Brock Lesnar doesn't go to any Hall Ed. of Fame ceremony or anything outside the ring? Yeah. If he ever got inducted. Would he even you... turn up? Well, yeah. No, I don't think he would. I don't like him. I just don't like him getting beat up by Goldberg was entertaining because I didn't like him. Yeah. He used to be good. Back when he was doing, back in the day, he could wrestle because he he has got an amateur wrestling background. He knows he knows how to actually wrestle. He just chooses not to. Yeah. He's a pure lazy person, but don't say that to his face because I'm pretty sure he'd eat you. All he has to do is look at you and you run away. Yeah, pretty much, because he is a scary, scary man. That is true. But I just, I don't think he's the kind of guy you could do anything with. No, like, he, he refuses everything the company puts in front of him. Shame at man, it's at WrestleMania, no, I don't want to do it. Decent match with Dean Ambrose at WrestleMania, I don't want to do it. Come up to work, don't want to do it. Yeah, it's just because uh, Vince sees him as big money, but apparently, I don't, I don't think they need him. I think once he puts Reigns over at WrestleMania 34, get rid of him. That that'll be his mission done. Stop stop spending nine million dollars on this man. Or was it twelve? It was something ridiculous, like nine or twelve million dollars for a year. Yeah. He wrestles. For like, I think his overall time that he works is like an hour and a half, two hours a year. And his matches paid. are what five minutes a piece, if that. And, and he, he does, doesn't. He just does the same thing. Just stands there and bounces, and then does suplexes. Yeah. No, you could get rid of him. Yes. Build on people that actually care about the industry and care about the company. Brock Lesnar is only there for a pay packet. Exactly. Whereas I kind of like Reigns now. He's growing on me. Mainly because he keeps getting his arse handed to him. I don't know. I think they should have... Oh, when um, the fans were ch- like cheering for Reigns back in the um, Royal Rumble when Batista won, Yeah. that was the right time they should have put him over, not a year later. Yeah, because then everyone was behind Daniel Bryan at this point. Yeah. But the thing is, I think like they've said it, we're not angry at Reigns. We're angry at the situation that's around it. Reigns himself is in the middle of it. If you could put anyone else there and would hate them just as much as Reigns because of what's happened. He's been at the wrong place at the wrong time. 
Like, if, if we didn't have the whole Daniel Bryan thing, he probably wouldn't be hated. That's because true. we associate him for these bad moments because of what happened. Like, true. I'm slowly, slowly kind of getting used to the idea of Reigns being around. Yeah. Mainly because he died in an ambulance. <laughs> Seriously, that that made me that made me get over on him a bit. If no. it's just, just make him talk less, please. But don't do a uh, Brock Lesnar when you don't talk at all. No, just have him come out and say run one sentence like he did on Raw. At one time, he just said one sentence and left. Yeah. Just do that, and that's brilliant. Have we got any more things to talk about before we get to the brands and the shake-up? I think that's about everything. Apart from Balor getting concussed. Oh. Balor, please don't die. I hate you, Balor. Jinder Mahal's getting fucked. Isn't he must be on some serious roids? Apparently not. Like, if you look at Because Shane McMahon brought up the... Su- that he brought up the subject of Shane McMahon on Talking Smack... And he didn't didn't phase him. So if he was on actual roids, they would know. Yeah. Apparently, he just has an insane diet and uh, exercise regime. But he's so literally he turns up uh, a week later. He's like, "What the hell happened?" Yeah. To you? Apparently, he literally does not. He, apparently, he is a very strict diet. No fat foods. No anything. I've heard. Wow, it's dedication. It, it is dedication on his part. I think that's why he's getting the feud with Mojo, which I actually can't wait to see what happens. That Rob uh, football player, I think, is probably. Well, I know he's on a part. I know they've uh, got him to do a few deals. Alright. Well, obviously, he keeps getting. Uh, the New England Patriots keep signing off on it for him to come and do this. Whether yeah. he's being paid for it or not, I don't actually know. No. It's probably just be a favour to Mojo. Yeah, I can imagine that. I can picture that. Them two. Her, hype, the new Hype Bros. I like them more as a Hype Bros. Yeah, I think I would. Hmm. Alright, let's get into the meat and uh, grind of this um, wrestling discussion. Who won the uh, Superstar Shake Up? Smackdown. Smackdown. <laughs> Obviously, they've got the stronger roster. Tag team divisions, a little bit, only because I love the Hardys that much. Yeah, I mean... But the main event scene in SmackDown is absolutely fantastic. Shinsuke Nakamura, AJ Styles, Randy Orton... Ben Owens. Yeah, when he comes over. It's looking good. The the Shining Stars are looking good. Yeah, I like their new attitude. Oh, yeah. The, the talks about Carlito coming in. Yeah, them, uh, three, them as a three, trio, that would be great. Yeah. Against the New Day. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, against the New Day. That would be great. Three on three. That would be really good. I think they've got a solid women's division because they've got Tamina and Charlotte. That's solid. Adding to Becky Lynch and Naomi, Carmella. They've got some good talent there. Yeah. I'm thinking the Raw of women is looking a little bit stronger. Now you've taken Charlotte away from the situation. I think the the Raw women's division will become to impress us, especially with Alexa Bliss and Mickey James. And you've got Emma. Yeah, Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke. Both just gonna have a feud. Then you've got Bailey as champion, which is the best thing ever. Nia Jax. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a. A hell of a lot, hell of a good thing. And the tag team divisions, they're not good on, they're good on Raw. Hardy Boys, Gallows and Anderson. You've also got um, the Revival. Oh yeah, the Revival. Yeah, that's why I'm saying their tag team division is looking a bit stronger. Yeah, I mean, who else? They've got Golden Truth. There's one more, because one team got traded. I'm trying to think. Yeah, someone got traded. I can't remember who. I oh, have... Heath and Rhino. Oh, yeah, that, that's a good team. I thought they split them up on Talking Smack and then just kind of went, no, no, it didn't happen. Honestly, it didn't happen. I think, yeah, I think they kind of made it out to be more of a, um, like, a fallout. 
Yeah, but not an actual split. Because they wanted to split them, and then I think Rhino agreed to stay. I think that was the idea. They were going to split them because I think Rhino was going to go, but he stuck around. So I think they just went, okay, we'll keep you. Yeah. Yeah. But that's good. That's gonna, I think that can make a good impact. But we've got some good feuds there. The Revival can take on Hardys. The club can be involved. It can all be really good over there. But it's just their mid-card and main of mid-card scene that's mainly going to die. Yeah. Um, As we were talking the... about it. You still there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mainly their mid-card. Yeah. That's the thing. I think with SmackDown, you've got solid... Are you kind of Smackdown's well, just well rounded? Yeah, I love how you sent me a picture of Jinder. Oh, it's before and after. Bloody, he is ripped as hell. Uh, but yeah, just Ross. I can't think of any mid card people over there now. They took all the decent ones. Yeah, that's, uh... that's the thing. They took Rusev, Sami Zayn. Oh no, they got Dolph Ziggler. They got Dolph Ziggler in the Miz now. No, no, Dolph Ziggler's Smackdown still. I was going to say. Shit. I can't think of anyone decent then. Finn Balor, no, he's not mid-card. No. Uh, Kalisto, Kalisto's gone over, but hopefully he's in the tag to the Asian and the Cruiserweights. No, this is why I don't get why they, they could have just made the Lucha Dragons again. Mm. Could have kept Sin Cara. Had the Lucha Dragons. They've got Elias Sampson. Oh, has he been confirmed for Raw now then? Yeah, he's on the roster for Raw. Oh, good. That that will make up the numbers there. You've Main got... event's not bad, because you've got... Kurt Hawkins. Oh, yeah. I mean, the Kurt should do something with him, but then again, he got big knocked out by the big show. Yeah, Bo Dallas. Samoa Joe's more. Not mid-card. Uh, Titus O'Neil. Kurt Haw- uh, No, we've got, still got... um. It's Curtis Axel. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Curtis Axel's there. Why don't they do something with these guys? Oh, it's been confirmed by that is Finn Balor has got the concussion. He's inactive with concussion. How long? Just says on the Wikipedia page, inactive concussion. Oh, no. I can have a route around the internet and see if I can find a date for his return, but it shouldn't be too long with a concussion, because... I reckon Mark Henry's got one last push in him. Yeah. I wouldn't be mad to see Mark Henry like tear up. Yeah, um, I, when he did his Hall of Pain thing, that was really good. Yeah. Is Tajiri still in the Cruiserweights? Apparently so. It says inactive, hasn't appeared in over 30 days. Yeah, he's, as far as I'm aware, he's still around. Fair enough. You've got to think as well, the uh, Raw Women's Division is, uh, is you've still got Paige and Summer Rae in it, they're just both out of injury. Oh yeah. Lana's going to SmackDown's. She's not, they've confirmed both of them two separate, Lana Good and stuff. Rusev. So I think Lana's going in as a wrestler. Alright. Which is an interesting choice. I wouldn't mind that. No, but she's actually a pretty good wrestler. I'm just, I think, just looking at the SmackDown roster, it's ridiculous. Well, who, then it's going back to the good old days. You know, back like um, when they made SmackDown good, like back in 2004 when you had guys like Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar, The Undertaker, Edge. You know, and you had the solid SmackDown 6, as they called them. Yeah. It's, I think we're going back to that. It's ridiculous. You've got the likes of, uh, I mean, Aiden English is having a uh, singles run. Uh, Baron Corbin. Yeah. Of Eric Rowan, Luke Harper. Yeah, dude, there's just so much stacked talent on SmackDown. And I've always used to Shinsuke Nakamura. It's just every time he comes out, I freak out. I love Shinsuke Nakamura too much for my yeah. own liking. Good. He, he's Tyler literally Lidley. my favourite person ever now. Yeah. I've only seen him wrestle about three times. 
I think just his mere presence of Shinsuke Nakamura just hypes you up. Doesn't it? His matches are insane. Yeah, they're amazing, but I think even when he just walks to the ring, he gets you hyped, doesn't he? Yeah. That entrance just gets you hyped the second it goes on. But WrestleMania 34, if, if they can get AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE title at WrestleMania and Ooh. Shinsuke wins it, I think that will blow the roof off the arena. That would be great. But it needs to main event if they do that. Yes, definitely does. Unless they have another, they bring back another 60, 50, 60 year old wrestler and have them do another squash match. With Goldberg to return again! Probably we'll look back at this and we're going, oh shit, Goldberg actually did come back. Yeah. He, cool. he probably will be back. He got he made way too much money not to come back. That's no, true. Uh, even Maria thought she'd gone. Apparently she has. It says here she's just inactive. She hasn't she's, yeah, she's still on the technic she's still technically employed, but she's uh pretty much gone. Uh, now I want Mara and Allo to return. Yeah, I miss her. Get rid of JBL. JBL, Tom Phillips, and Byron Sack. No, yeah, uh, Ma- Mario Ronaldo, Tom Phillips, and Byron Saxon. That'd be a good commentary team. I happen to think Byron Saxon's pretty good. Oh no, yeah, I think he has something different. He'd, yeah, he, he's not. He's way better than David Otunga. Yes. Tom Phillips is pretty good. JBL's all right, but he's just an absolute cock face. Yeah. Unfortunately, JBL is not a nice person. We knew this, but we didn't realise how much of a not how much of an asshole he actually was. That's yeah. the problem. Why did WWE cover up this shit? I just want to see Hardy's against the Wyatt family. Yeah. Um, it's just WWE, but yeah, SmackDown is looking the best. It it really is. Well, I would happily just watch SmackDown. The problem is you have to watch both because I just I think Raw is going to be good. But, but the thing is, the, the roster for Raw is quite thin, and you've got three hours to. I think they're going to have to make it up with Cruiserweight. Yeah, I mean they've got Apollo Cruz is mid card. Yeah, start making stars of these guys like you did with Baron Corbin. I think out the call-ups and the superstar shake-up, I think SmackDown just did basically say, fuck you, or we're better. SmackDown has been better since they did the brand split. Oh, definitely. And the thing is, they've now made them even better than they were before. SmackDown was basically the raw repeat before the brand split. Yeah, and now it's yeah back back like it used to be. SmackDown's the dominant one again. It used to be back in the day, and it is again. Even when Raw was two hours, SmackDown still put on a better show than Raw. That's true. It, because of the work force they have on there, people see SmackDown as the technical wrestling brand where you can go to see good matches. All the storyline shit and drama happens on Raw. Then you just get some solid, decent wrestling on SmackDown. Yeah. Whereas I think Bray Wyatt will fit perfectly into Raw because of his gimmick. SmackDown, it wasn't really about gimmicks. It's no. never been about gimmicks. Which it's is why I think AJ and Shinsuke Nakamura and people like that are good on SmackDown because they're not gimmick people. No. There's no members of the White family apart from Braun Strowman that's on Raw. Oh no, it's just Bray and Braun. Braun's doing his own thing, so that makes me think is Bray having a kind of character change. Maybe. Maybe after this House of Horrors match. If he loses, it might be the death of the Bray Wyatt. Oh, I hate to see a character change. I love Bray Wyatt's character. I know, but he doesn't win. That's the problem with him. They seriously need to get behind him. He's booked terribly. Oh, God, yes. 
At least he's held the WWE Championship now. At least we can say he's held two titles. That's true. I'm happy for that one. Uh, but yes, I'm still, I'm still can't wait to turn into SmackDown every week. Yeah, it's good. I like, I like SmackDown. And then I have two off our live after, which is good. I might have to try and get into it. Then, so. you, you really should. The last couple of weeks have been really, really good. Neville is helping it being a really good experience. Brian Kendrick's doing good stuff. Every everyone's just doing some really good work at the minute. Yeah. Yeah, we've even got this weird Mustafa Ali, Drew Gulak thing going on, which I don't get, but okay. It's like trying to get him to come over to the side and stop the flippy shit in the cruiserweight division. There's not that much flippy shit to begin with, mate. It's not a very hard task. I do kind of miss how they were in the cruiserweight division compared to the classic. Because they've toned down the flippy shit a lot in the from the cruiserweight classic. Yeah. Which is that's the problem. You want to promote this, and then you've changed it a little bit too much. Oh, for the cruiserweight classic, I watched it. Oh, that was good. This this is still good. It's just not cruiserweight classic kind of wrestling. It's more technical wrestling than it is cruiserweight classic. I'd rather see the technical wrestling from the uh, British. Yeah, I'd rather see flippy shit from the cruiserweight, and then technical wrestling from the UK. Because to be honest, Tyler Bate, Trent Seven, Joseph Connors are all great wrestlers. I'd love to see Neville go between. Yeah, both. I yeah. hold both. But I am the king of the cruiserweights and the United Kingdom. Screw you all. Can you imagine that he has like he goes to one, he goes from cruiserweight to the UK with the belt, the cruiserweight belt, and offers like open challenges and stuff. And yeah, that'd be great. People they could bring in from the UK and. Oh, yeah. you, I but nobody, else, nobody else from more culture wrestling. No, because I like more culture wrestling the way it is. It's a great wrestling co- show. To be fair. Yeah. But yeah, I think uh, we're about finished that. So yeah, we do believe SmackDown is the best because it will always be the best. Always. At least it's not Raw recap anymore. Yes. I hate. That's why I could never watch SmackDown when I started getting back into wrestling a couple of years ago, because it was you watched it and it was like you had the same matches you had on Raw, again. Yeah, that's true. Whereas they've got, they've got better at not repeating matches. As much. Yeah, it's a lot better. Hmm. But we'll just have to wait till the future until we have another superstar shakeup edition of the wrestling discussion because we'll be doing one again in a few months yes now as always we do hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like if you've enjoyed it subscribe to more content and we'll catch you later